Okay, so in today's tutorial, we're gonna be tackling this really cool hologram material right here. Now you can see this whole scene that I created. If you wanna download that scene and check it out, you can get that on Gumroad for a dollar, but we're gonna be tackling this really cool hologram material. And just a heads up, this is not a wireframe modifier. This is all done in the nodes, no added geometry. So let's go do that. All right, so first off, you can add in really any model you want, but I'm gonna just be adding a icosphere and I'm gonna subdivide it just about this many times. Now heads up, we are gonna be adding a wireframe node, so the amount of topology in your scene is gonna affect the way it looks. So I'm just gonna keep it at this. Now let's head over to shading. First off, I'm gonna go up here and change our render engine to EV, and we're gonna stick to this. Now let's go click new, and we're gonna delete this initial principled shader. And I'm gonna go and just click look dev to check it out, and I'm gonna bring this background out. So now we have this. Just black circle. That's because we have nothing. So let's add a mix shader right here. Plug that there. And we need to add a emission shader and a transparent node as well. So transparent emission, plug these two right here. And let's first go and add the most simple thing here. And that is the wireframe node. So right there, get the node, plug it right into the factor just like that. And we have the wireframe now. It looks a little weird. Right now it's not the way I want. The emission is in the triangle, not the actual wireframe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and swap them out. All right, so now it's the way I like. And with this right here, I'm gonna actually, I want this to be a little bit thinner. So it's, I'm just gonna change the size to 0 0.005. And now it's about as thick as I like it. So we're gonna go from there. So now we have this. We need to make one more of these, which is gonna be the dots. We're just going to detach this and move this material output up here, and we're going to make a new one. So let's just take another mix shader, add to the surface. We're going to take these two down here, the emission and the transparent. We're going to duplicate them just like that and plug them in in the same way. Emission and the transparent. And we're going to go ahead and add a color ramp. Put the color ramp here to crunch what's going to be behind it, and that's going to be a Voronoi just like this and plug that right there so nothing's happening we need to add first before we start actually doing anything if you just want to check it out it's going to be doing this right now but i want to add a mapping node just like this plug the vector into the vector and a texture coordinate and we're doing this so that when we add this material to other objects it'll be even because we're going to be using the object coordinate for this so we can add this material to anything we want and it'll be distributed evenly. So first, I'm just gonna bring this black portion in and it's not doing what I want. I want it to be inverted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the color ramp and now we're gonna get all these little dots and let's just bring it up pretty big, just like that. Now, we need to mix these two setups we just did. So this one is here and I'm just gonna bring it over like this. So now we have these two node setups that we just created, which is two basically two separate materials that go by themselves. So let's mix them with another mix shader. So we'll just duplicate this, just like that. Plug this one into here. And of course we need to tell it where to go. So let's add in a noise shape, noise mixture, sorry, texture. It's really late, I'm having trouble speaking tonight. <laughs> so let's get this mapping node as well and plug it into the vector. Now all we have to do is take a color ramp, put it right here, just like that. And let's start crunching it around, playing with the color ramp to d just sort of tell it where to go. So let's take these and just sort of break up that just like this. So now we have this broken up hologram. Now the problem is you can't see through it, it's still not a hologram. So what, all we have to do is if in our EV settings, We'll go over here to blend mode, right here in the material settings in Eevee, blend mode and change to alpha clip. And now we have this. Now let's go ahead and change the color of our emission to this, say this nice light blue. And I'm gonna go and copy the hex code so that I can paste it here. So we have the same exact color. And let's go and give them a strength of two on both of them. So now we have this really neat, really cool hologram, and we can play around with everything, sort of tell it what to do, 
And now we have this really sweet, really cool sci-fi hologram texture shader that you can play with and add to other models and have a lot of fun with. So you can go up to EV and here's what it looks like. I'll kill the world brightness so it's just a fully black background. And there you have it. This is the hologram texture. So I hope you learned something. Again, you can go download that scene file where I had that all that other cool sci-fi stuff around it and go get that. But hope you enjoy this. Hope you learned something. And thanks for watching.